What's up? DevSage here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about form input bindings in Vue.js. If you have a form in your Vue application and you want to bind the values in your form to some variables in your Vue instance, you can use the vModel directive. Let me show you an example. So let's say we want to create a form and this form is just going to contain a simple input element and let's say we want to bind the value of this input element to some variable in our view instance so let's go and create the variable we want to bind to so let's go to our main js let's create a new property in our data let's just call this property message we're going to initialize it to be the empty string Okay, so now let's bind message to our input element here. So let's just say v model equals message. Okay, now we've just bound message, the variable here in our instance, to our input element. This means that whenever the value of message changes, the value of our input box changes as well and vice versa if we were to manually update the value in our input box then that would subsequently change the value of message let's test it out so let's go down here and remember we can actually access our view instance by just calling the name of it our the name of our view instance is view so let's say view dot message and let's change it to equal devsage. And look at that. Look what we did. We changed the value of message to devsage. And because message was bound to our input element, the value of our input element was updated as well. So if we were to update the value of our input element here, let's just say random and let's try to print the value of message in our console look at that random it's a two-way binding between our message variable and our input element okay cool and this doesn't only work for inputs we can also use text areas so let's try to create a text area and let's just use v model message and let's do the same thing view dot message equals dev sage and as you can see we have the same results and we can also bind checkboxes so let's comment this text area out let's create an input type of checkbox and let's create let's create a variable um, to represent a boolean in our view instance let's call this checked and let's set this to equal false by default so let's go back to our index.html let's bind checked to our input checkbox here so let's say checked okay so now let's try to update the value of checked so let's say view.checked equals true and look at that the checkbox was checked whenever I change the value of checked in our instance we can also bind multiple checkboxes at a time so let's create let's go to our main JS and let's create a property in our data called checked boxes and this is going to be an array that holds all of the values that are checked in a group of checkboxes so let's create that group of checkboxes so let's say input type equals checkbox and the value of this checkbox is going to be one and we're going to bind this checkbox to our checked boxes array in our instance let's create three of these the value of the middle one will be two the value of the last one will be three and let's actually 
inject the value of checked boxes our array here so now when we check one of these boxes we should be able to see which of our check boxes were checked so let's check this one and as you can see one got checked let's check this last one three so one and three are checked let's get this one two and when we uncheck we remove a value from our array we can also bind radio inputs as well so let's comment that out and let's create a radio button input type radio value equals let's set it to equal one and let's create the variable we want to bind it to so let's say um, let's call this variable picked and this is going to be a boolean and it's going to be false so let's bind our radio button to picked v model picked okay and here's our radio button and let's try to manipulate the value of picked in the console so let's say view.picked equals if we want to activate this radio button we have to give it the appropriate value so the value that this radio is expecting is one so let's pass in one and as you can see the radio button got selected so if we were to make this value anything except what it expects here it should turn off so that's radio buttons and one of the last things we could do is we can bind select so let's comment that out and let's create a select and inside of this select we're going to create some options so let's say option this is going to be option a we're going to have an option b and an option c so let's uh let's go to our main js to create the variable we want to bind this to so let's say um let's just say selected equals the empty string and let's bind our select to selected okay so now right now we're not seeing any values here let's actually put the values inside here so a b and c so now we should be able to see something okay so now let's try to manipulate the value of the checkbox without actually touching the checkbox we're going to manipulate the variable selected so let's say view dot selected equals a and look at that a got selected and let's try the other way around let's manipulate the checkbox directly and then let's see what the value of selected is see pretty neat so that is a little bit about how form bindings work in Vue.js. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Um, subscribe if you want more content. And peace.